What's up everyone, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids back with you again and today we're taking a look at another knife. This is the CRKT M16-10KZ. This is a great kind of subtle, simple little EDC knife from CRKT. They make great gear, I just like their stuff in general. You can check out my review of some of the other things, the Triumph Neck Knife, I'll put an annotation down below, and also another one of their M16s, it's the ZSF, it's the tan one, it's much larger than this. So uh, let's just talk about this knife. First, what are you going to get with a knife? Obviously the blade comes in the box. You also get some information on the auto lock system, which we'll talk about in a second. And you get one of these miniature catalogs, which for a tiny piece of you know, paper basically crammed in a very small box, just take a look. Lots of information, lots of blades to look at. So that's kind of cool if you, uh, you, know, you throw this in your back pocket and someday you're out and you don't have a smartphone with you, you can still check out and get information on some of these uh, some of these knives and what they have to sell. All right, let's talk through some of the specs. Your overall length, 7.125 inches. Your closed length, 4 inches. And your weight is 2.3 ounces. That's one of the things I really like about this knife is how lightweight it is. I actually handed this to a buddy of mine at work today. I think he carries the, uh, the Kershaw Scallion. And he was holding that and said, wow, this thing is just so, so light. Uh, his blade is not particularly heavy, but he was noticing when he held it that it was quite a uh, quite a light blade. Your blade length is 3 inches. Your uh, blade material is 8CR15 MOV. And your Rockwell hardness is 58 to 59. Now you can see, obviously, this is the Tonto. It is a black blade. It's partially serrated. There are lots of different versions in the M16 family when it comes to blade style and size of the overall knife. For this particular size knife, you can get it with a black blade or the bead blasted blade. You can get it with a spear point, the Tonto, serrations, plain edge. I just chose this because I wanted to kind of diversify what I was carrying when it came to EDC blades. So I got this one with the Tonto and the partially serrated blade. So let's take a look at it here from end to end. There you can obviously see CRKT. There's your handle. And then flipping it around, coming back this way. Patent information, Carson design. We'll talk about the auto lock system and your flipper in a second. And your pocket clip. Now the pocket clip only goes one direction. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's actually folded away. But you can't swap it out to all the, any different positions. That's just something to be aware of with this knife. Okay, let's talk about blade deployment. Now because this blade, and I'm talking about the actual metal, is so light, I find that it does take a little bit extra English when you flip it open, and I need to get uh, a little tough glide in there to, uh, to make sure that it moves more smoothly. But essentially what you're gonna do is push down on this little flipper, and the blade will flip up. Now if you do actually kind of push down and swing, it'll come open very, very easily, very smoothly. And uh, it doesn't take a lot of extra work to get the swing open, but you should, if it is uh, you know, well lubricated in on the uh, pivot point, you should be able to just hit the flipper and the whole thing swings open. Let me show you how to deploy it using the flipper without really flicking my wrist at all. You basically want to put your finger on the flipper like this and then rest the bottom of the knife in your hand like that without holding back the blade and then just press down firmly on the flipper and that'll open up like so. The other option for opening the knife is you have thumb studs on both sides of the blade there and one thing you just want to be aware of is if you're pressing on the thumb stud and you're blocking the flipper, this has to move down for the blade to move open. So just be aware that you're not bumping the flipper with the back of your hand while you're trying to deploy it with the, uh, with the thumb stud. But you can see you can do it with the thumb stud as well. Now let's talk about the auto lock system. This is a liner lock, as you can see. So your liners, it's, it's where it lands, nice and, uh, nice and solid lock up. But the auto lock system is an additional safety feature. So when you want to actually close the knife, you can't just push the liner lock to the side because when the auto lock system comes on, which it does automatically when the blade is open, it basically sends, let's see if you can see it, a tiny piece of silver metal, which you can see it kind of looks like a little L shape down in there. And it sends it down into the mechanism so you can't push the liner lock across to the side. So what you're gonna to need to do instead is press the auto lock system down and then slide the liner over and now it can close. So once it's uh, once the auto lock system is engaged, no matter how hard you try, you can't push the liner lock over and close it. You have to swing the auto lock system down, now liner over, and it folds up. A couple other features that I think are worth mentioning. You do have some jimping on the top here. You can see it's textured a little bit right where your thumb is gonna land. And one nice thing about the flippers is that 
when this portion, which is the flipper on the backside, swings through, you now kind of have a little bit of a choil to kind of get your hand in for controlling controlling the blade well. And then underneath here on the actual liner lock, let's see if you can see that as well. Yeah, a little bit of jimping there as well. I find this to actually rest on my hand similar to the Barrage, even though it is a little bit of a smaller knife for my size hand, I feel when I actually get a hold of it, I've got good solid control of the actual blade. Just to do a little comparison here as far as size, on the bottom is the M16 we were just looking at. Above that, the Spyderco Tenacious. Above that is a knife from Coast that I reviewed. It's only $7, got it at Home Depot. Over here in the back you can see the DX340. And they kind of have their own version of the auto lock system as well. So uh, basically once this is, once the blade is deployed, you have to push this thing out of the way if you want to actually get the liner lock to slide over. So, you know, that's just another safety feature that comes with that knife, but very similar to the auto lock system. And then up top is the Benchmade Contego. That's the folding version. They do have the fixed blade coming out now in 2014. Just want to give you a size comparison. Clearly the blade is the smallest of all these blades as far as, you know, your top to bottom height. And then length end to end, this is also the smallest of all these knives as well. One final piece of information is that there is no hole at the end of the handle to uh, you know, put a piece of paracord through to make a lanyard. That might matter to some people, so I just want to throw it out there. Your price range for this knife is going to run probably $32 to $37, $38. And again, a variety of different setups when it comes to blade style, coloration, whatever it might be. There you have it, the CRKT M1610KZ. This has been an Everyday Tactical Vids review. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check us out on Tumblr. More reviews and more videos coming soon. Take care.